And these things right here. So, leave it to Beaver. Excuse me. I must just tell you, you are rocking that bad girlfriend. Mm-hmm. Are you serious? Are you talking about this plastic bag right here? From the grocery store. Well, I got plenty of them under my kitchen sink if you want one. It's raining bags. Hallelujah, it's raining bags. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's raining bags. Ooh, ooh, hallelujah, it's raining bags. <sighs> Welcome back, beautiful people, for another wonderful episode of Create Energy 3. S Hold on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 5. No. Create Energy 3. 1, 2, 3, 6, 5. I'm your girl, LW, coming in. And we are still on Blame It on the Pigment Week. And you know what? Let's go ahead and just get this out of the way and put to rest, if you should have any. Now, so, so, some, some, some people think that people that bestow the honey dip sun kiss melanated complexion like i have we're not doing our part for the environment when it comes to plastic bags hmm lucky for you class is in session we are going to be discussing the vitality and i mean the vitality of the plastic bag in the black household now don't be alarmed if you so ever journey into a black household and you make your way to the kitchen and you look under the kitchen sink most households will have like some maybe clorox cleaning supplies um some gloves mm -mm. if you black mm -mm. it's gonna be nothing but these different companies all shapes and sizes yeah, these bags is, is as vital as water. We need them in our lives. They are essentially the lifeline to survival. You're here. So, I know a lot of people be like, well, why do y'all need so many plastic bags? You should be recycling. First of all, we do recycle. Or should I say, we are multifaceted in the sense that we get, like, every bang for the buck. Really back in. As people that look like me, maybe a tad lighter or darker, we don't put anything past anything. Let's just clear the atmosphere. First of all, we spend a lot, but we don't waste anything. The perfect example I can give you is that two second to two minute rule, when something hits the floor, yeah, you know, we make a very calculated, prayerful call because yeah, it's, it's coming back off the floor and in classic, you know, melanated form, we, Lord bless you. And it's handled. So, when it comes to plastic bags, look, don't think that we're just hoarding them and it's just something cool to do. No, boo boo. We get every penny out of everything that we spend in the store. So, let me just roll off a couple of four instances with the plastic bags. First of all, in its original design, by the manufacturer we carry stuff in here 
like you know the groceries and toiletries and essentials yeah we can rock with that but did you know these beautiful lifesavers are used as trash bags <gasps> i know i know yeah we put trash in these another important thing about these lovely lifesavers is make sure i check my notes yeah these beautiful things can sell up as lunch bags like you don't have to go out there and spend a ton of money and buy one of those insulated things you don't have to do that <laughs> boom baby put your lunch in here and once you put your lunch in here you want to figure out a good way to carry it let me show you you take the handles you twist them around and then you make bunny ears Boop. and you carry it just like so and you got a lunch bag <gasps> girl i know too i know i know moving right along additionally when melon congregate particularly for um cms Christmas, Mother Day, no, CM, what's that initial for the holiday for us? Um, CMTs, Christmas, Mother Day, and Thanksgiving. We all get together and, you know, people be cooking up a storm and we don't have those fancy smancy carry out luggages or containers to take some of that delicious dressing home. No, ma'am. And no, sir. These plastic bags are perfect for putting all of that goodness and mercy to take back to your house because everyone knows that a staple at every one of those establishments will be greens. <laughs> and these babies hold that green juice flawlessly. Okay. Now, for the last important sector to consider i have a special use for plastic bags you know i'm rocking this beautiful hair but it's not really my hair my hair is up under there so yeah i'm a natural and natural requires different types of things and when different types of things are required like deep conditioning these are the bomb but did you know you can do something else with these things? You don't say. Yes, girlfriend, I do. Let's check it out. So as a natural, again, I have to deep condition my hair. This is for illustration purposes only. We are not tackling this beast until wash day. I'm just showing you how I get down, okay? Okay. So you take your lovely plastic bag and you will just assemble it on your head like this you know tie your little knot there and like well what else can you do glad you asked did you know if you do not have a hooded hair dryer you can create an instant one just like that oh yes all you need is a plastic bag and a handheld blow dryer. Girl, what you talking about? Mm. You just tie your plastic bag on your head like so. And then you create a little hole or a little pocket like this. Mm -hmm. And then you take your lovely handheld blow dryer and you're going to stick it in the hole like that. And then you just simply... mind blown I know if I gotta pop my collar I'll pop my collar tell me we ain't all about that life and know how to make it work Shh. don't tell anyone but 
I might have um, traded in my black card because I don't have that much storage space in my apartment. And I went to Ikea and I figured out something that will hold my plastic bags. And I love it. But don't tell my black people. You can like stuff everything in here. Like stuff everything. There's a bottom and you just put it in there like so. And it just, it's amazing.